Oh, hey, it's you. How'd you get in my room again? Stop that. Yes, would you believe it? It's time for another art project. And yes, would you believe it? Today is May 4th. It's currently 10.44 a.m. And the project is due today. I am infuriating. What I need to do is I need to create a memory jar where I take a see-through container and then put things in it to remember a cherished memory of mine. Or maybe a cherished series of memories of mine. I don't want you to know my secrets. But I will allow you to know my memories. I will allow you into the catacombs of my cranium and I will allow you to see the inner machinations of an insane man. But what if I were to do a memory of mine? What time would I do a memory jar of? Huh, it would have to be something very lucrative that I could do a lot with. Hmm, you know, I'll be honest, I was planning on doing a memory jar. Somebody's working on their yard right now and I'm about to kill a man with my fist. I don't know how I'll do it. I'll work it out. Don't drive nearby. I opened up my window. I'm asking for this. <laughs> anyway, I lost my train of thought. Well, I was going to do a funny thing where I make a memory jar of the time I beat 2020-2020 mode in the Five Nights at Freddy's fan game Pop Goes. But actually, I accidentally thought about it for a second and then realized, wouldn't it actually be super cool if I made a memory jar of Walt Disney World? So that's what we're gonna do. How are we gonna do it? I don't know. Whenever you think of Disney, what do you think of first? Them owning everything. So, I have true nightmares right here in the form of my Thomas the Tank Engine piggy bank that looks like a pig. Listen to this. That's cash, cash money in the bag. Is that Old Town Road? Okay, I have no idea what it is. The point still stands. I uh, I have bank right here, so I'm going to pour a lot of money into it. What else means Disney? I th I could think I could do Disney's Fast Play. This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. <laughs> Specifically Disney's Fast Play for some reason. I could get all of the Tinkerbell DVDs and put them up in there. I think of the Mickey Mouse fan that I got from Walt Disney World. I could put that in there. My Mickey Mouse coins. I could think of an airplane. I could get an airplane toy from my sister's room. So many opportunities. I think of my aunt. I could put a ant in it. So many opportunities. But first, I need to do a Google Meet with my art class. It's 10.51 now, and my Google Meet's at 11.06. I wanted to start doing this so that I could get a start on this video, so that hopefully I could at least get it edited today. <laughs> nope. Oh, don't you worry, it gets worse. And it's only a matter of time before the Lost Ink Lords of Biquadria come and find us, but gosh darn it, I gotta finish editing this memory jar video! Also, I'm gonna need to find a clear container. Uh, we'll figure that out later. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> We at 1.01 p.m. This lighting is horrible. We at 1.01 p.m. I have a container that my mom was talking to me about. It's downstairs. Let's go get it. 
All right, so my sister's in class. I don't want to mess with her, but the container's right there. It's a pretzel container. <sighs> my challenge. How do I get that? Let's just try my arms. I think we used this for a butterfly one time. My mom was telling me about this because these used to be in this, but they're not anymore because I think we did have a butterfly in this. I forget what his name was. My sister named him. Oh, sick. Fiesta string. Font on the back is Comic Sans. Rock it. All right, we got our container. Now it's time to go back upstairs. <laughs> Made it. We got ourselves a container that may or may not have used to have a butterfly in it. So now we need to figure out what's going on this first. My first thought was, hmm, for the ground of it, wouldn't it be cool if I had it like the ground at Walt Disney World? Like how it's like brick and stuff? That would be cool, except how the heck would I do that? I don't have bricks, but you know what I do have? Rocks and a lot of them. So come along with me, because we're about to go on a little adventure. <sighs> Welcome to the outer world. As you can see, this is rocks. We have a lot of them. And so I am going to collect some. I think it would be cool if I could make it look like Mickey Mouse, where I got like some gray ones. Could be like the outside. And then the inside, what makes up Mickey, could be like these like tanny, orangey, brownie ones. So all right, let's get to it. All right, how am I gonna do this? Perfect, it's gonna look exactly like Michael the Mouse. Okay. I'm putting rocks in it! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks stupid. Oh, I'm on board with this. This looks like the dumbest thing in the world. It's excellent. What if I made my memory jar about the trip to Walt Disney World? Okay. And I kind of want to like, ooh, I can make it look like the bricks from Disney World. I'm just like, but where the heck am I going to get bricks? I'm like, I know, I got rocks. And I'm trying to get like the orangey rocks, okay. and I'm going to make them, I'm trying to make them look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's not working the best, but it's art. Calling things art is an excuse for whenever I do it wrong. I call things art whenever they were supposed to be something else and I screwed it up. <laughs> See, I'm trying to just pack it up right now, is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to pack it up. You know, I don't want to see any of the, the bottom of it. Okay. Heck yeah, making a masterpiece. I'm trying to pack it up right now is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to pack it in so that I don't want you to be able to see any of the, the bottom of the container. My dad is mowing the lawn, so if you hear that, that's him. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so undefined. Couldn't show you 
where I was at while we were outside. My dad was mowing the lawn directly next to me, which was appreciated. But I can show you it now. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's almost hilarious how non-specified this is. This is what the rocks look like right now. The orangey brown ones are supposed to be Mickey Mouse. Goodness crit. Thanks, Dad. That's, that's supposed to be Mickey Mouse. It only kind of worked. Now something I'd like to do is to be able to figure out how to make it all stay. But that would require some sort of like clear insert. Got like this plastic bag, this great value plastic bag. And this isn't a problem of time, by the way. It's just a problem of me being dumb. I've still got, it's 127. I also have to do my financial literacy, which, I don't know, my financial literacy might take like an hour and then also an hour to watch an AP English video. So two hours out of my day is taken up by that. So technically the rest of it could be this honking project. It could be. What would be nice is I've seen videos of like people using like resin or whatever to like keep it all in like a clear, smooth coat. But I don't think we have that. That would be so cool, that'd be really cool. But when I use it, I don't know, I spend most of my day watching Game Grumps do funny ha-has over here. I don't know. I need to find a way to keep that in the place it is. Keep these rocks the way they are. I could use this real money, but real money's meant to be spent. What I could use instead is Chuck E. Cheese money. Uh, you know, depending on where I ended up putting the Chuck E. Cheese money. I don't actually know where the Chuck E. Cheese money is. I don't know where they are. Go back in. 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 What is up with this drawer? I, I do not understand this drawer. Yeah, okay. I... I don't know where they are. I might have given them to my sister. I don't know. Well, screw my last idea. I guess I'm filling it up with real money. Here goes nothing. I need to get some of the money out. So... That'll work. This is the most precarious placement for a camera in the world. You know, I didn't really think about the logistics of, you know, how well this was gonna go with the giant Mickey Mouse in there. Well, actually, now that I think about it, pennies. I'll just get more pennies. I have a lot of quarters is the thing. I don't have a lot of pennies, so I need to nab myself more pennies. It could also be that, like, Mickey Mouse Disney World is incredibly expensive, or it could be that, you know, Disney owns the planet and they're all about that cash, and they are cashing in on their old nostalgia, primarily. Or it could also be, you know, that you can get a whole bunch of those special pennies, those, like, stretched pennies. You know what, now that I think about it, I don't actually know what those would technically be called. I uh, just stretch pennies. But you know what I mean. It could also be that. There's all kinds of different interpretations, and every one of them is valid. You know what? You could say that because these rocks are from my front driveway, that was, you know, the uh, exit whenever we went to Disney World, and then the entry point whenever we returned to Disney World was my driveway because we came back in and, you know, came back home. It could also be that since that is my driveway, that is our property, Home is also where Disney is because a lot of the nostalgia and memories of Disney originate in the home. Whenever you watch it with your family and you get all the toys and the fun t-shirts and you know. Not this fun t-shirt, this one's from One Shot. I do have Mickey Mouse t-shirts. I am part of the problem. Which by the way, I'm gonna take this opportunity to say that while I did love my trip to Disney World 2014, I'm a little sick and tired of Disney's nonsense. 
And now, a huge fan of it. And you know, with this being made out of my money also in my driveway, it could be, you know, that the real Disney was the friends we made along the way, and the life that we live, and the, you know, the money we spend to get the things that we want, and the transactions that we make. Our experiences are the real, most magical place on Earth. Just kidding, the real magical most place on Earth is the teacup ride. We rode that thing a lot. We love spinning. I need more pennies. I like how this sounds. Ah! I have so many quarters. Man, why am I so rich? I wish I was less rich. I'll probably take my quarters back out after this project's done. Because even though it'd be cool, some parts of this are not going to be permanent, probably. Wow, yeah, I really don't have a lot of pennies. All right, well, I'll do my best. Though this magical world that we love escaping to exists in our hearts in reality, it is nothing more than a construction. It is nothing more than dollars turned to stone. Your money thrown into the void which gobbles it heartily. It returns you a shiny rock for you to put your dreams in. I hope I'm ruining Disney for some people. That'd be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? If just through this goofy, stupid video I was ruining people's childhoods, making them face the capitalistic reality. And maybe before we continue, I should maybe say, I don't know anything about capitalism or economy or politics or anything. I know nothing about anything. What I do know about is what year Disney movies came out. Chicken Little, 2004. I don't know if that's right. Tangled, 2010. I don't know if that's right. Beauty and the Beast, 1990. Ah. Uh, Crap. Five? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we're moving on. I've done it. I have accessorized the mouse. Uh, the next step is, you know, we gotta figure out what we're gonna put in this. What is the trip to Disney World? Airplane, first step. Gotta get an airplane. Gotta get an airplane. Gotta get the airplane. Uh, I just crushed Five Nights at Freddy's. Sorry, Five Nights at Freddy's. Go back. Gremlin. What's the oppie? Where's the ups? Where are you hiding the ups? Ooh, this looks plausible. That's the car. Need an uppy. Where's the uppy? Where are you hiding the uppy? You know what? It's becoming increasingly apparent that I did make a mistake by trying to do this the day off. Especially for this project. Anyway, my mom found an airplane from my sister's toys. Uh, it is a war plane, but heck, it'll work. We can pretend like we flew to Walt Disney World in a thing that had honking rockets on it. That's fine with me. But other things I would like to get for this. Well, number one, I'm gonna find my Mickey Mouse fan. Number two, I'm gonna get some Rotini needles. Because we actually had penne. Penne is one of the things I really remember about Walt Disney World. Because it was what I ate almost every Every day because it was a, it was like the fail safe. We always knew I would eat penne. That was always a thing that was going to be able to get into my body. So I eat a lot of penne at Walt Disney World, but we don't have any penne. We have a lot of rotini. So I'm going to get rotini. I'm going to get the Walt Disney World cups we got because one of my favorite memories was always after the day's activities were done, I would go downstairs with my mom from our hotel room and we would refill our drinks and we'd go back up. And one day she did it without me and I almost cried because it was like the one thing we did together. And there, well, there was nothing special about it. It was just like, it was just something we did together. It was our little thing we had started while we were at Walt Disney World, so it was just special to me. Or, I could actually round this one out right now, I'm gonna get my container from, well, my, like, my foldy thing from my closet with the stretched pennies that I got from Walt Disney World. Yeah, there we go. These. So, look, 
and go back down one. And uh, it does have a lot of things that, you know, are not Walt Disney World. Like, I've got Six Flags America in here. Excellent. Ocean City, Maryland. Can't live without it. Niagara Falls. Absolutely. Anyway, let's get this in here. There we go. This in here. Done. Fourth thing we're gonna do as an homage to my art teacher's memory jar and also just because we had these. Mickey Mouse waffles. She has had in her container Eggo waffles that have been in there and looking exactly the same for a series of weeks. So I'd like to see if I can cut out a Mickey Mouse. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, what, that's four things, right? What, are, what were they? Noodles. Waffles, drink cup. What was the fourth thing? I had four fingers. Maybe it was my coin collection. I don't know, I'll look at the footage and I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get moving. This guy going in there. Bonk. All right, this is what we got so far. Moving on. I got what you mean. I got this big thing in my hand. Where is it? Where is it, puppy? Where is it? I love you. Do not consume my project. Don't do it. Don't do it. Josie, I have a problem. We have to figure out how to solve it. I need to get spaghetti. And I need to get a fan. And I need to get waffles. Waffles will be easy. I'm gonna go do waffles. Okay, Josie. Cheese waffle. Oh, that smells really good. I wonder if my art teacher heated hers up at all before she cut it in half. I'm not cutting mine in half though. I'm making Mickey Mouse out of this. Somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> this is how this usually goes. I just get, ooh, that'd be a great idea. I have no idea how to make it happen. Let's figure it out. Actually, let's sit this down for a second and put this back. Do we have waffles upstairs? I think. Okay, well then I opened this one too. I don't know where to, how to do this so one-handed. <laughs> don't worry about it. You'll see probably tomorrow because I'll probably get this done late. <laughs> Class project? Kinda, yeah. I mean, yes. I'm going to cut it in the shape of Mickey Mouse. How do you think I should do that? Because I don't know how. All right, thanks Wes. Thanks, Dad. Leave you to it. <laughs> okay, I figured out how to make it look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's not easier, honestly. Ah, no, it's fine. I have teeth. That's not very good. Yeah, it's pretty bad. No, I eat it. Actually, it's okay now. I, I'm getting more used to it. How do I make this look like Mickey Mouse? Thank you. 
This times three equals Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you make this work? Because one waffle is the big one and then cut off the excess for two of the other ones. Why cut it when you have teeth? You eat these uncooked waffles. <laughs> cook them first really soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go cook them. Alright, everybody. It's funny to a point, but after a while I just start getting annoyed. I have three waffles now. I toasted the waffles and also while I was in there I got a uh, Sharpie so that I can draw Mickey Mouse faces on them. And then I got Rotini. Now I've never had one of these guys uncooked. So, you know, here's an uncooked one. I'm gonna... I also have this unopened box of rotini. All right, well, uh, uh, let's let's put some of this in here. The uh, the uh, uh, let's sprinkle a bit of rotini in this. All right, that's a. Good amount of rotini in this pretzel container full of rocks and coins and an airplane. All right, this is what I wanted. All right, and now we have three waffles that I'm going to trim into the. No, no, no. no. I got a better idea. Wait. I'm gluing waffles. Why has my life come to this? One day I'll be in secondary education. And they will look through my history of doing other stuff. And they'll see, oh wait, Take a look at that. There was one time this idiot used craft bonding adhesive on waffles. Everything is coming into question now. Like, I'm just kind of like, at this point, what's left for me? What is my future looking like now? Now that this is on my permanent record that I have done this, these weirdly slimy, slimy, slimy waffles. Seriously, why are they so liquidy? We're gonna wait for the adhesive to dry on the waffles, a sentence that a human being on this earth has said. Doesn't that just kind of make you want to give up? The last step is the fan. Fan, fan, fantastic. Part of me is joking, and part of me is serious. And I don't know which one's gonna win out in the end. Cause it is a battle, it is a battle. I don't know where that fan is. Although I did just find this bow tie and I think it would look good as like 
you know, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse wears her bow tie. Just, just get right in there. Yeah, what? Are you happy to be here? Oh, this is pretty. Ooh, this is adorable. I love this. Almost doesn't need fixed. I just need to, like, move it up a little bit. It just needs a bit of scooch. Oh, I could just do that and then tighten it. Yeah! All right, look at that. Look at that! That's actually cute as heck. And I know that like this sticker in front's a little bit of an eyesore. There's only one vantage point where you're really gonna actually be able to see into this thing. But you know, whatever. And I don't know where that fan is. That's the final, ooh, the final step is that fan. You know, after this stupid craft bond dries. You know what, I'll be honest, I, I was getting kind of irritated with this thing, but really, I'm kind of coming around to it. It's, it's looking pretty cute. It's, it's, it's kind of getting cute again. It's gotten slightly less stupid and slightly more fun. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh wow, that's yellowed. And there you go. This is it. We're finally reaching the end. Can you believe it? According to my laptop, I've only been at this for about like an hour. Uh, it feels like it might have been centuries. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Actually, I've only been at this for 10 minutes. Look at that. That's quality. All right, how am I gonna get any part of this in there? Maybe... I've got it. But first, before we do that, I'd like to just get this waffle thing done and over with. So together in any discernible way. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not. Plan B on the waffles. Plan B. I don't have scissors. Hi, Dad. I have scissors again. Does that make you uncomfortable? Good. Oh, yeah. Silky like butter. Get it? Because it's waffles. <laughs> I've lost the scissors. Oh, they're right next to me. Never mind. Excellent. Get that on there. There we go. This is good. I'm so weak. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm a ninja. Oh. Oh, oh, it's so smooth. Ah. That's tasty. There you go, last piece of tape. I just need to make sure the tape stays down. Stay down. Don't get up. Maybe now you'll think again before you talk. Now all we have to do is put it in. It's peeling off again. <laughs> just this. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh no, I didn't draw on it. Oh no, I have to do it from this angle. Oh, okay. Okay. And there he I'm just in love with my art right now. Ooh. And there he is. And there he is. Woo! What am I doing? I don't know how to get you in there. Maybe? I've got it. Oh, that's right. I do know exactly how to get this in there. You follow me. Sorry, you probably couldn't see any of that. That was sacred lands. What I'm gonna do is I am going to take a Polaroid of this fan and then that will go in the container. This may have been a disaster through and through, but gosh dang git, it's a disaster. I'm gonna see it through the end. We wanna get our lighting right. The Instamax camera is on Instamax? Instax. Papers explaining the patterns of cognitive distortions. Who needs them? 
Who needs them when you've got Polaroids? Polaroids are the only joy I need in my life. What are you, some kind of animal? The stage is set. The lights are lit. Let's freaking go. No! We need a heavy, tiny thing that can keep this stable. Let's try that again, shall we? The stage is set. The lights are lit. Let's freaking go. We got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, you know we got it. Oh, you know it. You freaking know we got it just then. Oh, it's coming through. It's coming through beautifully. I can't believe it. I can't believe this project has taken such a turn. This project has taken longer than Frendrick did, and it's been so much more of a journey than Frendrick was. This project is better than Frendrick in any, every way. Can you tell that it's better than Frendrick? Because Frendrick has been dismantled and returned to their original egg form. Whereas look at this thing. You think I'm gonna let this die? Probably, just not quickly. I won't let it die quickly. We return to normalcy. My work here is almost done. I just have to shake this around a lot. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you may notice that I have tissues right here next to my desk. It's because of how beautiful this project is that you will cry so much. In fact, I'm gonna cry so much that I'm just gonna set this up so I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so this has been my memory jar project. Are you ready? Because it's almost done. And it's gonna be so good that you're all gonna cry tears of joy. I don't wanna see this. Yeah, the lighting's a little weird. I think I messed up the lighting part. Cause like, see, you can't really see the 2014 and stuff on there. And also I didn't know that you were getting Celeste and a little bit of the one shot sticker sheet up there. But no, it's fine. All that we need to do is set this up. So come with me and we'll go put it in a safe place. And here we are, the bathroom. In the bathroom, yes. Truly the safest place I could possibly think of. Well, should get ready for the waterworks. I, I'm gonna figure out where, okay. All right. Just gotta carefully put it in. <laughs>